That's what has driven these different responses and guesses. But I am working at... Hello everybody, my name is Nyan. I'm the Black Female Engineer. I provide content for new and aspiring software engineers and today I just finished my first day at my new job. Literally just finished. It is 6 p.m. exactly my time, Pacific time. I'm in Los Angeles and I am still at my desk like I just finished. And oh my goodness, y'all, I am tired. <laughs> I am I'm quite tired. Um, and so I was like, hey, let's film this. That way everything's still fresh and whatnot. But no, I started off the day really just trying to figure out my systems and logins and whatnot. Typically when you do start a new job, before you even start, the team is prepping your arrival by making sure they have everything set up for you. And this includes logins and emails and any other accounts, whether they be internal or external, really setting that up for you. And sometimes you can actually access them before you even start working, but they try to have you not do that because you're not getting paid to read these emails. Like don't access them but i didn't get to access them over the last few weeks so last week was orientation not team specific orientation more about company-wide orientation of these are our values this is these trainings of you know anti-discrimination anti-harassment um security protocols things like that and so i really didn't get any insight into my job and my team it really was very separated from my team and so here i come today really struggling to get access to my accounts my email accounts my yeah just other portals and i got into this really big i don't even know like jumble because to access let's say like the vpn so i can work on things even though i'm working from home and i'm not actually actually at the physical site i needed my email login but then my email login is locked out and so i can't access that and so it became this whole big jumbled mess and so i spent most of my morning doing that if you're not you know like me as blessed as i am you will go through your morning more swimmingly and will instead really just focus on reading emails and looking at your calendar and seeing what touch bases or chats you have scheduled for the day i got to talk face to face you know screen to screen with my manager for the first time today which was so exciting especially because i don't know we've been emailing back and forth a, li a little bit i think we've only exchanged maybe three four email threads over the last maybe four three months and so i had this kind of idea of this person and so it's nice to actually finally put a face to the emails to this account and so that was really fun and really i highly recommend taking that time to ask anything you want because y'all they expect you to know nothing they expect you to know nothing and that is a great thing for you because it means there truly are no dumb questions like to ask whatever and so i took that time to ask for more of a rundown of what the team does for those of you who have been following my journey for a while you know that i knew i had a job but i didn't know what team i would be on for the longest time this happens a lot when especially if you're like me who applied to a job via university hires instead of applying to scrum master id 54862 at this location, this team. And so that wasn't me. I applied to the company as a whole as a entry-level developer. That was it. And so I got that job, but now I had months where I know I have a job and I know when I start, but I just didn't know where or what I'd be doing, even what, what tech I'd be using even. It was very, very vague because of that. And so I took that time with my manager to really just ask like, yo, what do y'all do? <laughs> Like, can you please give me a rundown of this team as a whole and then your role on the team, what you want and expect my role to be on the team, how I can contribute, what your goals are, what your day-to-day -day procedures are, and yeah, what, like, let's get to knowing each other. I'm very glad I asked that because then for the next, like, five to ten minutes, he really, really went in going into the products they use and their workflows and what things to look out for in 
the future and my part in all of it. And I'm the kind of person who I need to know. I need to know now, even if it's not relevant for the next six months, a year. I want all the information as soon as possible. So him giving me the rundown of, okay, so in a few weeks when you're done with trainings, you're going to be on this project. And then that after that, you're going to be on this project. And this is what I foresee in the next few months for you and us and the team. And so I really am glad I just straight up asked like, what time of day is it like what 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 is it what is this team what am i in this team just please share with the class and so then i also asked what his management style was this is another thing i highly highly recommend and so he said, said straight up hey i am not a micro manager i expect you to get your work done you know you wouldn't be here if you are not the type to get your work done. And so that's what I expect. And I prefer this type of communication. And I expect for you to hear from me from this times to this times. This is when I'm most available and whatnot. And this is when I expect you to be most available and all the sorts. We also went into, okay, how do you get and provide feedback? Because that is a big thing for me. I like feedback. I like to know what I'm doing well and what things I can improve upon, but the delivery matters. You know, I, I'm a person that the delivery matters, especially because I'm the type of person to be so in my head about whether or not I'm doing a good job. And so if I get anything that indicates I'm not, I kind of internally combust a little bit. And so he was like, no, this is how I receive feedback. This is how I give it. And so it was nice to have that heads up. That way I know what to expect. You know what I mean? That way, if you get feedback at two o'clock in the morning via email, you don't combust. You don't panic because you heard from day one that he stays up at night and then he provides all his feedbacks at once via email and all that that's not what let me make it clear that's not what he said to me i'm just giving an example of how, why it's beneficial to ask those kinds of questions on day one and then yeah after me and him touched base that was in the afternoon i went on to the other trainings i had mostly more managerial slash company-wide slash i don't even know how i would explain it just more generic trainings like this is how we use email this is the internal portals we use and whatnot but as the days and weeks go on the trainings will become more specified to talk about my specific languages my specific frameworks and things i need to know for the specific role i for the next couple of months will be primarily using python and javascript however as my time here goes on, I'll also be using Java and C++. Ah, shoot. What was it? Was it C++ or C Sharp? Okay, I just checked. It's C++. And so I expect those to be a bit more of a learning curve than JavaScript, which I've used all this time. And Python, I'm actually very excited to start using Python. I tried to learn Python about a year ago when I was first learning how to code. However, since I had nothing to tie it back to, it just fell off. I just couldn't continue learning because all the ideas were so very abstract. And so now that I have a, a specific thing to tie it to a specific role, a specific workflow, a specific product I'm tying it to. I'm very excited to start learning it again. And so where do I work? Y'all, some of y'all have guessed. I have had guesses for Disney and DreamWorks and Sony. And, and I think, you know, me saying I'm in LA and I'm working in like more like entertainment and like animations in past videos, that's what has driven these different responses and guesses, but I am working at DreamWorks. I am working at DreamWorks Animations in the products engineering team. I am so excited, so excited. I just can't imagine how much I'm going to learn in these next few days and weeks and months. I am so, so, so pumped. And so yeah, in the next few days, weeks and months, you're going to be hearing from me. 
a lot about um, just this whole journey. I really want to take you all as much into it as possible, especially because this journey, I've, I've tried my best to stay up to date with my life. And so I'm excited to now provide more day by day, real time updates instead of me sharing, oh, this is what I did a amount of months ago. And so I'm very excited. I hope you are too. But if there's anything specific you'd like to know about me, my job, anything, uh, being in LA, anything, please let me know in the comments. I really want to make sure I tailor this channel to the things that you all want to see from me. And so please, please, please let me know in the comments. Help me help you, y'all, please. And so no, I'll see y'all later. And yeah. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Okay. Thank you. Bye.